Alison Bluesfield had a choice, a choice that would forever change her and her family's lives. When doctors gave her the devastating news that her unborn son had Down syndrome and Hydrops fatalis, a life-threatening condition, they advised her to end the pregnancy. But Alison and her husband, Eric, chose a different path. They chose life, love, and faith in miracles. From the very beginning, life threw this couple challenge after challenge. Upon learning that their baby boy would be born with Down syndrome, Alison felt overwhelmed. It was as if her world had stopped spinning. It was just kind of this instant sinking feeling, she recalled, her eyes welling with tears. In contrast, Eric was calm and unwavering. Whatever happens, babe, we'll roll with it, he said, his comforting words wrapping around Alison like a warm blanket. Despite her fears, the support of the Down Syndrome community came flooding in. Strangers from across the globe reached out with open hearts, welcoming Alison into a family she hadn't known existed. She found strength in their words, their stories, and their shared belief in the value of every life. But soon after, their joy was met with yet another heartbreak. At a follow-up appointment, the doctors revealed that their unborn son, Ethan, had developed Hydrops fatalis. Fluid had built up around his heart, lungs, and vital organs, leaving him in a perilous state. Again, they were given the option to terminate. Again, Allison said no. I could be done. I could just be done and run away, she reflected. But deep down, she knew. This was her son, and she would fight for him. They prepared themselves for the worst. The doctors told them to expect the unimaginable, to be ready for their son's passing. But amidst the despair, Ethan started kicking. His tiny movements were signs of life, little miracles in themselves. Then, in a miraculous turn of events, the doctors discovered that the fluid around his organs had disappeared. This never happens, they told the shocked couple. It was a sign of hope, a sign that maybe, just maybe, their son could defy the odds. But the battle wasn't over. Ethan had a severe heart defect, and doctors gave him a slim chance of surviving birth, let alone living beyond 24 hours. Still, Allison and Eric held on to hope. In December 2022, baby Ethan was born. His first days were spent in the NICU, where he underwent a complex heart surgery. Despite the odds, Ethan fought with every breath. But after months of struggle, his health took a turn for the worse. It was a heart-wrenching decision, but Allison and Eric chose to take him off life support. They shared one last beautiful moment with their son, holding him on the hospital roof, where he felt the fresh air on his skin for the first time. Ethan lived for 199 days, days filled with love, hope, and unshakable faith. His life was brief, but it was a gift, a miracle. After his passing, Allison and Eric held a celebration of life to honor their son. My son lived 199 days, and we wanted to celebrate that, Allison said with pride. He pushed past more than doctors ever thought he would, and he proved that miracles do happen. Ethan's story is a testament to the power of faith, the resilience of the human spirit, and the immeasurable love between a parent and a child. Thank you for watching this heartwarming story about the precious 199 days Allison and Eric shared with their son, Ethan. Their journey reminds us all of the power of faith, love, and the miracles that can happen when we choose life. If you found this story inspiring, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with someone who might need a little hope today. See you in the next video.